everyone, this is Lauren from the LKS Address. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you can see, I am standing in our demoed kitchen, which if you missed our last video, we finished up most of the kitchen demo for now, which involved removing the soffits and some of the cabinets where we're gonna start. In this video, we're going to be patching the drywall. So let's get to it. We're at a stopping place for this weekend. We got all of the drywall installed at the fridge and pantry wall and at the bar wall. And we started the stove wall, but we need some more drywall. We'll get to that later, but I'm gonna start practicing my taping and mudding skills over here where you can't see any of the drywall patching that we're gonna do. But we're feeling really productive this week and we got a lot more done than I think we had thought. So. It doesn't always go that way, so it's been really nice to have a really productive weekend. So we'll see you on the flip side. Hi, checking in on kitchen progress. So it's been a good week in the kitchen because a plumber came out and they fixed the pipe in our soffit and it is up in the ceiling now, which is really exciting because if you know anything about me and Cameron knows all about me, is that I prefer well, let's say I'm a pessimist, so I prefer to plan for the worst, but then hope for the best. So the whole time I've been designing our kitchen around the fact that we may need to soft it over the kitchen sink, just so that I wasn't surprised in the end if that was really the way it needed to be. But a plumber came out and they were really easily able to move it. It only took an hour and that makes me very happy. Let's take a look at it. All right, here is a look at our pipe that's now in the soffit. Great news, and the only other thing we have to get rid of is this conduit. And this electrical and conduit was going to a light that was over the sink in the soffit, but we prefer a minimal look. We have a lot of lights, the room is not that large, so we're actually just gonna remove it. We're not gonna have a dedicated light over the sink because we never found ourselves using it anyways. And it will also eliminate a switch in our backsplash, kind of make everything cleaner. So we'll do that and then we can finish up patching the drywall here. It has been a day. This day challenged us. The first time we did the drywall, we got like so much done so quickly. Everything was going very smooth today. That was just not the case. We just were not on our game and we were getting very frustrated. I wanted to give up, Cam wanted to finish, but you know, the good news is if you persevere, you can get the job done. So also we were originally thinking that I was gonna try and tape and mud everything but because some good news, we got rid of the pipe in our soffit. Now all of this area is gonna be exposed, the ceiling and the walls. So we are gonna hire our professional drywaller. So he came by yesterday and is hopefully gonna do the job soon. And then we can start hanging cabinets, which is great. We'll just name things now and then we'll try and narrow it down so that we're not looking at like 8,000 Like, cause I don't really feel like that's gonna be pr productive if we- I don't want anything that lean leans green cause like you don't know, like in this little light, like right now the overcast, it could- Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> side by side, it'll be easier cause I already forgot what this first five looks like, 
Well, yeah, no, and I think it's uh, having them side by side to compare again the island. Like, wh- like you don't like one can look good, and then the island color looks terrible. Mm-hmm. Cool. After looking through our fan deck together, we decided to order ten paint samples from Sample Eyes, which provide full size samples of actual painted area that you can stick to your wall. This is a really great way to see how it looks. Our current wall color is Chantilly Lace, so that's actually the wall color in the kitchen. So this is a really great comparison to see what they look like against the wall color. We ended up ordering four whites for the perimeter and the main cabinets at the kitchen. And then the remaining colors, the six other colors would be accent colors for the island. As for the whites, we are leaning towards this color right here, which is Wind's Breath. We feel like it might be a little too much contrast, so we're gonna go to Benjamin Moore when we get the sample and look at the next shade lighter and probably get both of those and see what we think. In general, we're really loving these four right here. May not all end up being kitchen colors, but I think we might use them in other places in our house. I'm obsessed with this color, which is Betta Ferns, although it's really dark, but Kind of could see it in our future library. And then for the island, we're in between these two colors. Uh, on the right is Pashmina, which if you watch XL McKenna, she just used that in her kitchen and it looks amazing. Inspired us to get the color. And then on the left is the Florentine plaster. And they're very similar. I think the Florentine plaster is just a little lighter and less beige and maybe a tad bit more green, but we really like both of those. So I think we're gonna get samples of those. And then at the bottom, we've been looking at them with our flooring sample. And then we also held up all of our countertop samples to see what they all looked like with it. This has been really helpful and we're excited to see what the paint looks like on an actual cabinet door. We spent the week looking at the colors that you guys watched us choose from Benjamin Moore and had the chance to go pick up samples. We ended up on three colors. We're feeling pretty good that one of these, well, two of the three are gonna be our paint colors. So we're gonna get those put on some cabinet doors so we can really see what it looks like. And hopefully we can decide on a color. We're going to save our cabinet color decisions until the next video so stay tuned for that and with that we're going to wrap up this video we've made so much progress so far on the kitchen with the drywall and we're working on finalizing decisions so in the next video we're going to be building our cabinet boxes unboxing our semi handmade fronts can't wait to see those announcing our color decisions on our cabinets and island and then we're also going to give you a peek at which countertop we chose and no shortage of drama there so stay tuned if you like this video please thumbs up the video and subscribe to our channel we'll see you next time oh my God.